Good afternoon. A continuation, we will be presenting the article Combining Building Information Modeling Systems and Video Games Engines in Educational, Ephemeral, Urban and Architectural Proposals. This research project, funded by the Spanish government, has been coordinated between the architecture schools of the Polytechnic University of Catalonia and La Salle Ramon Yul University with a period of development from 2016 until 2021. The principal focus is to integrate the building information modeling into the video game engines like Unreal and Unity to permit us to create a more advanced visualization interactive system and throughout the project-based learning to improve the special competences of the students in the informal and formal education. The starting point is the card game of Richard Ames by using its design concept to create spaces based on the cards that have different textures, images and can create different uses and special configurations. The final purpose is not about the final architectural design, but how the final users can interact with it and modify according to the final and different needs. The product was brought to the exposition named Gameplay that has been presented at the Contemporary Cultural Center of Barcelona from December 2019 to August 2021. It's based on the participation of the users to work on the creation of different spaces and in a collaborative way, evaluate the proposals and the solutions to different uses. In the formal education, we work with the students from the beginning, explaining them the projects, the tools to use, the space where to design, the context, and the final purpose. They started using the building information modeling and exporting that file to the video game engine of Unreal to build out their ideas. We can see different results that started from a simple concept of the card game and finish out by creating different uses in different areas of the same space that was the central square of the contemporary cultural center of Barcelona. With the survey we, that was related to the motivation and potential of these tools in their education, we found out a very high value in all the answers from the seven questions. The students were very interested in keep using these systems to create their projects we found out a slightly higher difference in females and in general their satisfaction and motivation was very high showing the validity of this system in the education of urban and architectural design.